Hey, come on in, warm yourself up. I know what you want to know. What do you eat in the winter time when it's cold and snowy? You know, my opinion is if we were meant to live up here in the cold, we'd be born with fur. First thing I did when I left home, when I was 18, I went to Florida where there's the sun and sand and beaches and palm trees. And then I moved to California and then I moved to the desert in Las Vegas and I go to the tropics a lot. And I know a lot of you people are gonna say, you say, well, I can't afford that, I'm poor. I need to pay my mortgages, I have a house. And well, they have houses and mortgages down in the tropics too. And by the way, there's more poor people in the tropics tropics than there is up in the northern areas. But I know you want to hear about that. You want to hear about the food. Okay, we'll get to the food part. All right. Those of you who watch my documentary, Free Living 101, you already know what I'm about to say. I went up north to the suburbs of Toronto, Canada, where I met a man who lives in the suburbs. This is not out in the woods. This is in the suburbs where he finds things to eat that grow wild and natural in the suburbs that he finds for free and lives off of even in the wintertime when it snows. And he describes how to do it. Those of you who are only about eating what grows in your area, you got to think like a squirrel. You got to think like a bear because they know winter's coming and they get ready for it. So they harvest and they gather all the stuff that's in their area and they get it ready for the winter time. They stash it away. And I've already told you with my books and my DVDs and how you can find the wild plants growing in your area even if you live in the suburbs. You gotta dry it or powder it or pickle it or somehow you preserve it, dehydrate it somehow to make it last the winter time. It's that simple. It's really not that. And we have some recipes and some videos that show you how to do that. But you can still have fresh foods. You can grow your own food in the wintertime, believe it or not, indoors. It's called sprouting. Sprouting is actually the most nutritious time of a plant to eat. And it grows, sprouts grow anywhere. They grow anywhere, anytime. All it requires is water. That's it. That's all you require. I don't even think sprouts need light. So they will grow in the wintertime, no problem. I know what you're saying. You're saying like, oh yeah, right. You want me to eat dried powder, preserved pickled crap with, with sprouts? For That's what you want me to eat in the wintertime? <sighs> okay, I get it, I get it. All right, so let's get to raw food. Usually, I get this all the time because well, I can't eat raw food because it's cold and I want to be warm in the winter time. Well, did I ever say raw food is cold? Who said that? I didn't. I didn't say raw food was cold. The whole principle of raw food is you just don't heat it over 118 degrees Fahrenheit, 45 Celsius. That's the principle of raw foods because anything above that temperature, you're killing the life force and the enzymes of the food. And 118 Fahrenheit, 45 Celsius, that's pretty darn hot. A hot tub is only 101 or 103 degrees. We're talking 118 degrees. That's hotter than a hot tub. It's pretty darn warm for food. So I don't want to hear excuses about, I can't warm my food. You can't can't warm your food. Half the stuff on our cookbook is warm food. You get a dehydrator and they're, no, I can't afford a dehydrator. They're cheap. You can get them for 35 bucks online for the cheap ones. There is no excuse. You can have warm food in the winter time when it's snowing and you can have good food. You can still have your pizza, your pasta, your soups and your meat substitutes and all that stuff you love. You can still have it. <sighs> anyway. There is no excuse, really. So getting back to uh, the natural things, um, you gotta think like a squirrel. You gotta think. Ah. Oh, hi, honey. I was just telling people what to eat in the winter time. Ah, what do you mean? We eat the same foods all the time. We go grocery shopping, silly. I was trying to sound all intelligent here. I got pineapple, and I got mangoes, and I got tomatoes, and I got bananas, and I got these delicious strawberries you're eating, and these carrots, and I got these radishes, and I got these red and orange peppers, and this red cap. 